Hey, what's up guys? It's John here from Tanager Gaming, bringing you episode 1 of a Leaf Green Egglock series. So, um, if you guys don't know what uh, an Egglock is, I'll explain it briefly real quick. Um, an Egglock is pretty much a Nuzlocke. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, you should probably know by now, but I'll explain that real quick too. Uh, there's three rules of it. You uh, have to nickname every Pokemon you catch. You can only catch one Pokemon per route, and if it faints, it's considered dead forever. So an Egglock is a spin-off of that. It's a little variant of that. So it has the same rules, yet you can only catch one Pokemon in each route you encounter. And if it dead if it's dead, it's dead forever. But instead of keeping the Pokemon that you catch, you actually trade it in for a random egg that's preloaded into your game. They're all level one eggs. They can be anything, really. Anything in here. So yeah, so after I catch a Pokemon, I'm gonna bring it here. I'm going to trade it for an egg. And then I'm going to use a rare candy, rare candies to level them up to the same level that Pokemon was when I caught it. So this could either help me greatly or not help me at all if I catch a really cool Pokemon and then get like a freaking, I don't even know, like a, something bad in the box. So yeah, this is, uh, first before I go any further, this save file is Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. So you see Hardy here. Um, he is, that was actually kind enough to give away his save files since, uh, and we don't have enough, a big enough of fan base to be able to, um, to get to all these eggs that he was able to get. So, special thanks to him. I'll leave the save file and his channel in the description of the video. So, you should definitely check that out. But, yeah, so we got here, and we have A, the Bulbasaur. So, we get to choose any egg out of these four to switch with A, and then we will hatch that egg and bring it up to level 5 because that's what level uh, A is. So let's go with um, this egg. This looks like a pretty cool egg. So let's... Alright, they're not going to let that happen. Um, how do I know this is going to work? Um, can I put that there and then I can't have only an egg so I probably, I'm probably i going to have to hatch this egg first. Alright. Shouldn't take too long to hatch. Alright, maybe it will. I will pause and come back. I suppose. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Literally right after I stopped recording, it started hatching. So, here is our very first Pokemon, which is going to replace Bulbasaur. A Cleffa. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, let's name Cleffa... Swag Daddy. Cleffa. Hopefully its moveset is, uh, pretty good. Cleffa can be alright. Let's just check it real quick. Um, Swag Daddy, I like it. So, it's got some nice special defense. Ooh, it knows Pound Charge. And then Encore. I don't know why it knows Charge, but it does. Probably an egg move. So... You know, not the greatest first Pokemon we could have. Oh, it actually already started at level 5, so we can just switch that out with Bulbasaur real quick. And, yeah, so now that's the beginning of the Nuzlocke with our level 5 Swag Daddy Cleffa, who knows Pound. So, hopefully he doesn't die right away with a restart. <laughs> but, yeah, let's, um, do we have any Pokeballs? I didn't even check. We do not, so we should probably go buy some. So we'll go over to, I'm going to try not to use super speed that much, except when in battles, well, useless battles. Oh, he actually has, hasn't even got a package back. So we actually get five Pokeballs um, from uh, some guy in the lab, I believe, in this game. So, alright, let's just sprint down there. It kind of sucks not having running shoes, but you know, what can you do? Alright, sweet. Didn't get any random encounters. Alright, so... Bringing back him his parcel. Oh, Hardy has more Pokemon. So yeah, it kind of sucks that Hardy is the name for my character. But, you know, what can you do? Rufus. I guess that's what he named his guy. That's interesting. So here's uh, two Pokedexes. Pretty cool. We get our Pokedexes. Cleffa. I can't believe we've got Cleffa as a freaking... It's pretty lame. That's the cool thing about this uh, 
this egg lock though. Like anything, you can get anything. It could have been like a, well, not a Zapdos, because I don't think you can breed Zapdoses, but it could be like anything, which is awesome. So yeah, we got our five Pokeballs. Route 1 does not count in Nuzlocke, because you are like already encountered. Actually, I didn't encounter a Pokemon. Nah, I don't want to. I won't cheat like that. But, yeah, let's go ahead. Back through Route 1. Actually, we get a potion from this guy. In case you guys didn't know that. Alright, so we'll just keep making our way up. Actually, to the left of Viridian City, we can uh, catch a new Pokemon there. So, that'll be cool. Alright, let's see what Cluffa can do. Alright, that's actually not that bad of damage. I wonder, I wonder if it'll level up quickly. Eh, I mean, that was a level 2 ret ratatata to be fair but still that wasn't a lot of xp for that maybe we can two hit it nope hopefully it's defense is good enough to take a or it just wants to keep tail whipping that's perfectly fine by me why is the last hit always got to be a crit all right so now we're in viridian city so we can actually go to the left over here what's this guy do those pokeballs are waste uh... yeah it's interesting not Actually, there's an item up here, so we might as well just snag that while we're here, right? It is a potion, so now we're like stacked on potions. It's pretty nice, so we won't die right away, hopefully. All right, so we can actually catch another Pokemon here, so let's see what we get. I mean, it doesn't matter what we get, but oh, crap. Um, oh, okay. At least it's not going to use any fighting moves. Oh, dude, my, my, uh... My ability is a uh, cute charm, so if it, I get hit by a physical attack, it's pretty much like I use a track, which is awesome. So I was hoping he would go for like a ye leer or focus energy there, so I could just encore him into it, but scratch isn't that bad. It's better than a uh, fighting move. Alright, hit him again. Hopefully he'll get, yeah, that's such a nice ability. Let's go. Alright, so let's catch him real quick. Level 4 Mankey. I think all the eggs hatch level 5, though, which kind of sucks. So, you know. Uh, no. So we'll go ahead and bring Mankey back to the PC, trade him out for an egg, and you know the deal, we'll hatch it. Bring him up to level 4, if it is at level 1, but for some reason, Clef was level 5 already. So I'm going to take the assumption that this one will probably be level 5, but there's nothing I can do about it, so it's going to stay level 5. So, I guess we can go with box 1. You know, why not? It's the first box. Um, let's go with this one. Looks interesting. So last time, it literally took like three seconds after I paused the video for it to hatch. So let me just run with it for a little bit. That Clef is actually going to be nice with that cute charm ability. Alright, so here's here's our second Pokemon. Didn't take that long to hatch. Let's see what it's going to be. A Diglett. Huh. Diglett. That's not, that's not too bad at all. Diglett. What do you name a Diglett? Oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm gonna name him this thing. And I gotta tell you a story about it after. But, how do I do a space right here? Mr. E. Crap, it's not going to fit. Um, Alright, I'm just going to name him Efficiency. Efficiency. I think that's how you spell it. I'm going to feel dumb if you don't, but Efficiency. The Diglett. Alright. So, he's level 5 too. We can look at him real quick after we heal Cleffa. But, yeah, the story that I got to tell you about is... uh. If you guys, if this is the first video you're seeing on this channel, uh, me and my friend, uh, we we like shared the YouTube channel. We both upload to it. Most of the time we do it together, but so, for some things we do it separate, like I'm doing right now. Who is Pokerus? Sand Veil, Sand Attack, and Scratch. All right, not bad. But um, wait, let me check his attack stat because normally they're super powerful. Wow, 11 attack, 15 speed. That's pretty sick for level five. I didn't check Clef's stats either. Man, I can't get this story out. One second. <laughs> Ugh. 
Ooh, 11 special defense. That's pretty good. All right. But, um, yeah, so over the summer, the guy I, uh, I do this YouTube channel with, Jacob, um, my very good friend, we uh, actually had a job together. We worked at a – our technically, our label was um, Carpenter's Apprentice, but we ended up just working in our boss's backyard pretty much. Um, weeding and cleaning windows and just stuff like that that completely sucked really bad and we would do it for 10 hours a day and get paid not that much but you know it wasn't that bad we got pretty swole and uh, made a couple dollars so so this man the guy we worked for our boss he uh, <laughs> whenever we were going slower than he would like which I mean we never really slacked off when we did stuff there we just I mean it was hot. We were 10 hour days and we were 16 years old. So we're not going to be like super humans as we do this stuff. So <laughs> we, um, there were two in instances when, uh, he called himself Mr. Efficiency where, um, we can actually catch Pokemon up here. So we'll do that as I talk about this, but I'm going to switch to Diglett so we can sand attack. But, uh, yeah, he called himself Mr. Efficiency. In this one instance, I remember, he, um, <laughs> he, <laughs> we were wheelbarrowing, we were mulching his, uh, these trees in his front yard, like, putting mulch around them, and, um, there's this one instance, I remember, I said that, like, 17 times, but it doesn't matter, we, me, Jacob and I, Jacob would work the little, like, uh, I don't even know what it's called, like, the little bobcat, oh, that did a lot of damage, little uh bobcat machine i guess you can call it where it like scoops it up like a like a little crane essentially for the for the mulch so um <laughs> we we he filled up two wheelbarrows uh with the, this little thing one for me and one for him so we could uh carry both of them back at the same time and we could like you know talk on the way there because we're outside in like 95 degree weather doing this might as well like talk to each other instead of being isolated so he comes out and he's like <laughs> Uh, Mr. He pretty much said, like, Mr. Efficiency does not approve. Like, <laughs> he was like, he was saying that we should go at separate times. Like, Jacob could fill up one wheelbarrow and I would take the other. And then we, he could fill, as he finished the second one, he could take the, as he finished filling up the second one, he could take that one. And when I finished, like, filling in the mulch where the trees were. Then I could come back and shovel the mulch into a wheelbarrow and then take it. So, I don't know why, but Diglett kind of reminded me of that. And I just went on like a three-minute rampage about that. So, yeah. Mr. Efficiency, great guy. He was a nice guy, but he was kind of crazy. So, yeah. Now we know Diglett has no health whatsoever. And we have a new Pokemon egg from that Rattata. And we will figure out what it is. Hopefully it won't take that long. If it does, I will pause the video. Come on. All right, there we go. Let's see what our third Pokemon on the squad's going to be. Hopefully it's something cool. Rhyhorn. Let's go. <laughs> That's pretty sick, honestly. Uh, Rhyhorn. Um, what do you name a Rhyhorn? Uh, Rhyhorn. Um... Let's just name it Rocky. I don't know. I don't want to sit here for like ever trying to figure out a name. So Rocky sounds good. Rocky the Rhyhorn. I think that Rattata was level 4 that we call it. So let me check that real quick. Yeah, it was. Alright, let's check his moveset real quick. Hopefully it's something not bad. He's got Pokerus too. Rockhead. Prevents recoil damage. It's pretty cool. Uh, horn attack. Tail with a magnitude. That's sick. That's awesome. Let's go. Sweet. All right. So now we're going to go to the Viridian Forest. Let's go. <laughs> Just making our way over there without our running shoes because you know we're about that. Actually, let me think. We could take on Rufus, as Hardy named him, over here because I think he only has a Pidgey and then a Charmander. And I could easily take out his Charmander with Rocky. I know he has a Charmander because I picked Bulbasaur. I could easily use uh, Magnitude and probably take him out in one hit. And he can't do anything to me. But I don't know what I would do against that Pidgey. 
because I don't have any rock moves on Rocky. I guess I could just use Horn Attack. So yeah, let's do that. Let's see if Rocky... Let's test for Rocky. Level 5 Rocky. Eh, let me level him up a little bit. Uh, let's just take him on. Psych. Uh, yeah, um, I don't want to lose him. Alright, let's see how he deals with this with with this uh, Mankey here. Alright, we'll take him on. <laughs> yes, we will definitely take him on. Right here, right now. Let's go. Hopefully I don't lose. This is probably a dumb decision. So he does have a Pidgey. Level 9. I don't think he can touch me. Yeah. Alright. Slowly but surely, whittle him down. Alright, I don't think this will kill him, and then I'll just heal up. Oh, it did kill him. Crap. Uh, Alright, level 6. Charmander. I think he's going to outspeed us. Yeah, alright. That's all he can do to us. That should take him out. Alright, sweet. Critical hit. Don't think it mattered. But, sweet. Now, uh, Rocky's pretty much level 7, and he did literally nothing to us. I don't know why I was scared. I think there's a hidden item up here. Maybe. Let me check. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm clicking everywhere. Alright, let's... Alright, sweet. Go, Rocky. You're the best. Oh, that actually scared me a lot more than it should have. I knew, I knew nothing he had could touch me. Because I knew he had a Pidgey in that Charmander. I don't know why I was so nervous. But you know, I'm just a nervous wreck sometimes. So yeah, let's um, let's go up to the Verdian Forest, catch a Pokemon in there. And then uh, hatch the egg, and then we'll leave the episode off there. Let me just get up there. I hate walking. Like, as soon as I get the running shoes, I won't super speed as much, but this is kind of dumb. Don't they give you stuff in here? I don't think so. No, I didn't catch a Rattata. Well, I actually did catch a Rattata. Alright, Rainy Forest. Um, I don't want to get poisoned. Rocky should be fine. Actually, Rocky might kill them. Let's go. I should probably get an antidote first. Ah. In case I go into a Weedle. Eh. Should be fun. Let's see what we get. Don't be a Weedle. Alright, Metapod Sweet. He can't do anything. Um, let's just go for a Pokeball right away. I don't want to kill him. That would be dumb of me. Sorry, I had to rearrange my headset. <laughs> oh, that probably is pretty loud for you. Let's try one more. If I don't catch... Alright, I'm going to wait for him... I think I should be able to hit him with a horn attack now that, yeah. I'm just going to get him low now. Hopefully he does not. This ball actually catches him. Oh, my. Come on, Rocky. What are you thinking, bro? Jeez. All right, so there's one lost Pokemon. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I think there's... I'm trying to find a... I know, yeah, that's... Well, all right, run from this Weedle. <laughs> So Rocky is easily our best. All right, that probably would have been a better idea to get that before we try to catch a Pokemon, but we didn't. So yeah. So now that we don't can't even get another Pokemon, might as well just end the video off right here. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, if you could leave a like, we uh, I'll bring you more of these. Uh, this, this is actually really fun to just like randomly get a Pokemon. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's a nice potion to have. Um. So yeah, I will uh, definitely see you guys next time. See you later.